Um, I have some great news, actually. I am... So, I am back at Teresa Tami for the next step in my um, non-invasive, doing the best for my skin upkeep. So, I have had M-Face, I have had ultrasound, and now I'm going to have microneedling. And the reason we had to wait this long is because I film most days and we need some downtime. So, Teresa says it needs a couple of days downtime which is actually a bit alarming, but um, I know so many people who have had it. There she is, and they all swear by it. So that's the next step. Next time you see me, I'll be with Teresa. What are we doing today? So we are going to do microneedling radio frequency for the first time on you. So everyone's heard of Morphe's 8. It's been going around for a long time. And I've got a different machine, and I believe it's better. What does it, it do? It delivers with suctions, it's more controlled. I wouldn't say it's more controlled than Morphe's 8, but it's controlled. So the suction will bring the needles into the skin, which means it's less painful, and it truly is less painful, actually. Um, so it's going to help more tightening, skin rejuvenation, and um, work on the lower face and neck. So can I just tell you something? This is no word of a lie. I put out um, my latest vlog, and everybody is talking about this. Now, I know it's the neck of a 68-year-old, but my neck has never had definition. Do you really see it? Oh, my God, well? more than anywhere. I, my jawline is tighter, but my neck, just me doing this, if you see these lines, these lines, these veins never stood out. The neck was just all sagging. This is extraordinary. This is what Profilo didn't do for me. Profilo, well, actually did do for me, but it just disappeared within a couple of weeks. Um, but this happened the next day, and I know you don't believe me, but literally the next day, you can go to my YouTube channel and see, if you look at last week's vlog compared to the vlog before, so the vlog when I say I've just come back from retreat, that is with my neck, with the results on my neck, and you can literally see these. So that was ultrasound. So what do you normally do? So you do um, three sessions, you do one and then one eight weeks later, and then the last one, um, between eight and 10 weeks, it's a bit of a slow, tra um, a slow kind of transformation, but you're not meant to see the first session results until about four to six weeks. So I'm really surprised you can see them, but great, I mean, amazing you, you can still see them. Do you think, and I, you know, far more about this than me, do you think it's because I really, I am very scrawny and thin, that the, what, there's not much fat, there's not much there, so what the rock was, oh, Teresa, I don't know if I'm talking rubbish. I mean, though. no, it could be. And actually, sometimes I always think, you know, maybe when you get older, because I'm a huge fan of preventing, actually. And so many people are just not treating the neck. Pretty much, you know, most of my clients. So I'm being a little bit more pushy on neck at the moment. So face, 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 you know, neck is actually an area that we age much more in a skin. Totally. And it's good to try and kind of catch it before it gets there. But going back to your question, I think we might see better results the older you are. The yeah, more. I think you're probably and I, right. And I would have said normally that when it's, you know, not bad, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna spring it normally, it's going to be easier. But I actually think that this could be the other way around. She's very honest. I, I honestly, all of you girls who are around my age or maybe older and we all go on about the neck, then I truly think it was ultrasound wasn't it Ultra ultrasound yeah so oh my high food high food um no pain no downtime this no. one we're going to have a little bit of sensitivity but really not painful you'll be you let me know and um, we'll numb you up first you can have some redness but it'll be interesting to see how red and i text alice hart davis last night i said alice i'm off to have uh, microneedling and she texts back who with and i said Teresa told me she went you're with the best You'll love it. Oh, so there you that's go. so nice. Right, Teresa. Can I show you? Yes, just to show everyone. I can see that I'm a little bit red and it'll get redder. Are you on me? Yeah, time? I'm on yeah. you. So that is what has been going into your... Oh, it's on pause. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that. 
This it will do. It's a suction that's going to be bringing it. Obviously, you would have it the opposite way around. It's not. How do you feel in terms of pain? Oh, no, but I had numbing cream on. Um, my lips are a little bit numb, which is making me laugh because I never shut up. Um, <laughs> I had numbing cream on. It just, you know, it's fine, but I think tonight when it wears off, it's going to hurt, isn't it? It's going to feel sunburned, but the pit, the. To say how, how many Oh, the treatment? Say, yeah. Whilst I was having it, we were just holding our usual conversation. Uh, nothing, I mean, truly. You could feel something. Oh, I could feel something, but it certainly wasn't, ah, you know when you hang on to the dentist's mm -hmm. hand, and you go, control. now stop. But certainly, no, nothing, yeah. nothing, really. So what we've done is, we've done the lower face here. I want to see how long it takes you to heal, because when you go onto the bony areas, it can be a little bit longer healing, because it's thin skin. So if you heal here super quick, we'll just do the rest of the face. So I'm going to do a tiny bit more here, just to, just to tighten there. So the next time you'll see me will be tomorrow, and we'll see exactly how much downtime oh, yeah. I am going to be enjoying. Well, gosh, sorry, that's better. Um, so this is the morning after the microneedling and you could, I'm so sorry about the state I just wanted to get you in the morning light so this is as um, raw as you're going to see this is the morning light on my face as you can see it, it isn't sore there is some redness but there's no um, aggravation it doesn't feel sore at all just slightly red around certain areas but my neck already feels tauter. I just can't, it's my neck that I'm so excited about. But yeah, so this is literally the day after. And then I will film tomorrow and let you see two days after. And then on Monday, I'm filming at Sheer Lux and Teresa says it'll be absolutely fine. So I am really excited about this. Are you ready? We're going to see Barbie. We're going to see Barbie the music, Barbie the movie. We're off to see Barbie the movie. Yes, at Picture House Central, dog friendly. Yes, Mert, yes, Mert. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I better shut this window because you can hear the traffic. It's Sunday morning. I very, very, very seldom vlog on a Sunday. And um, that will be Anna on my phone saying, where are you? I'm heading down to Picture House Central in Piccadilly because Every, I think it's once a month, they have dog friendly screenings and this one is completely sold out. It is for Barbie the Musical and very, very excited. Myrtle and I are going, meeting Anna and other friends down there. The reason I've jumped on here to film this bit is um, I had microneedling with Teresa Tami and um, I was so apprehensive because she said there's downtime, a few days downtime. This is two days after I had the microneedling and if you look, I am so happy with my skin. I am still fairly tanned from my holiday. I've added a little bit of Chanel bronzer, but um, I'm just, do you know what I'm happiest with is my neck. My neck, I'm, oh my gosh, because I thought my neck was beyond help. But um, when I get back, I'll show you more of my neck. I'm just in a hurry. I just wanted to show you this now. Um, yes, two days after the microneedling. And um, I am so happy. My skin feels fantastic. I, I think it's a brilliant procedure. Procedure, treatment, whatever. Anyway, going to jump on a bus, Myrtle and myself, down to Piccadilly. It's about 10 o'clock, by the way. Okay, see you there. Gorgeous in his Barbie muffler. 
um, and he's got lots of friends turning up. How many in his party do you think? Well, we had 50 to 60 at his birthday party and we had to limit it to that because Picture House Central only had 60 dog blankets. Look at this dog waiting for the lift. Oh. We're in the lift everybody because Myrtle can't do an escalator. Oh. Um, Doors closing. Oh, have we pressed the button? Oh, no. two. Two, yeah. There we are. Um, so you can lift these dogs up. I need a dog that I can lift Mert. Christmas. It was as camp as Christmas and absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, I'll recommend it to everybody actually. Brilliant film. Everyone's going home. Good morning. It is Monday morning and I'm going over to Clapham to film with Sheer Lux. This is a pickup shot for the Davina McCall interview. So you'll remember um, I interviewed Davina McCall a couple of months ago now um, in preparation for her series that's going out on ITV that is a dating show. Um, and uh, because we didn't, uh, because we're holding the interview back until the series is released, we didn't record the introduction. So I'm going in to re record the introduction in the same clothes. So I know you've seen this Rixo outfit, but this is what I interviewed her in. So it's important I wear it when we do the pickup. I just wanted to show you my skin. So this is what day four after I had the micro needling. And I just, there was very little downtime at all. But what I am so thrilled about is my neck. My neck didn't have definition. It's old, it's crepey, it is always going to be old and crepey, but it's becoming less crepey and it actually has definition. These veins now show, it all used to be a blob. I can't, I was trying to explain it to Teresa and I guess when you see the before and afters, after all of you know the treatments are done, then you will see that's Myrtle gnawing on a bone by the way. She loved her visit to the cinema yesterday. Um, but then you'll see. Now, as I keep saying, I do not want to go under the knife. I don't, I'm not going to have my eyes done. I, you know, I, I cancelled that appointment. They were very understanding. Um, and I, I don't want filler and I don't want Botox. I'm just going to have Whatever machines are out there that can do non-invasive treatments, that's the way I'm going to go. So I will never look younger. I don't actually want to look younger, I just want to look great. So there we go. Mert, oh, she's gnawing on that bone, it cleans her teeth. I'll show you it in a moment. Um, yes, yeah, so listen, I, I last week in the vlog I said, you know, things have I'm trying to keep things calm in my vlogs, but as you will see, it's already doing this, and this is what happens in London. It just does this. Every day this week, I am doing something that requires I look good. My goodness me, that is a lot of maintenance. I fiddle with my hair, sorry, I know, because look, it's fly away, and I'm trying to, oh, anyway, I'm taking my brolly, because it's raining outside, and I am going to buy a hat, a rain hat, a good rain hat. Not a winter one, a summer one, and I saw someone going down Maribyrn High Street in a denim Mew Mew bucket hat. I loved it, so I might treat myself. It depends how my finances are this month, and um, also how much they cost, right? Do you want to see what Myrtle's up to? What are you doing? Show everyone what you're doing. It's your antler. It's your antler, isn't it? Did you enjoy the cinema? Yes, you walked down Regent Street. Very, very impressed. 
very impressed because you don't actually usually walk anywhere, do you? No. So I told you, didn't I, I have to get my fix. This outfit when I was interviewing Davina and because I'm here to do the introduction, so a little bit of a cheat. We didn't film the introduction on the day. We're going to do the introduction today. Glue it to the main Davina interview. Um, and I wore this outfit, actually, this Rixo outfit you've seen before. Um, but the girls have just filmed a TikTok of me in um, another outfit, which you need to go to their TikTok to find out exactly what it was. Or I might even post it on my um, Instagram, if I can. Philippe, you'll have to help me. Now, the person responsible for most of the social media that comes out of here is Kate. Often spoke about, seldom seen, but here she is. Can I, I mean, Kate, I need lessons on social media and TikTok and everything. You, here at Sheer Lux, all of you are so quick. How many do you put out a day, roughly? We put out, gosh, on TikTok, we try and do two a day on each, on Lux Girl and on Cheer Lux. Um, so it's always go, go, go. Lots of filming. And is that a pressure? Because if you oh, come through... Hello! Hello, Claire. How are you? Very well. You never know who you're going to meet in the kitchen here okay. at Cheer Lux. Um, is it a pressure? Because everybody looks fantastic here. And do you think when you arrive, there's every there's every chance you are going to be filmed either for TikTok yeah. or for yeah. a video for a <laughs> blog, whatever? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone. We're very lucky that everyone always just looks fab, don't they? So it, it tends to work every day. <laughs> it really does. So um, I recommend everyone goes to their TikTok because the amount of people that always give Sheer Lux as an example of how to do TikTok. It's so clever, the lip syncing and everything else. <laughs> yeah. And yet you, were you taught to do that or is that just something you picked up? No, I mean, I've learned everything I know from Daisy, who is, Amazing. Well, the two of you machine. are. Daisy, Daisy is um, on holiday at the moment, but you've seen Daisy on this vlog yes, before. Yes, you have. Um, yeah, I've learned everything I know from her, but no, it's just sort of yeah, being a little bit obsessed with social media, it sort of happens. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you are invaluable. You know, people like me, we're dinosaurs and we are trying to keep oh, up. So good, no, but I, I, because I just learned from this lot, I'm truly, it's, but as you go through life, as you, even at a weekend when you're not working, do you see TikTok um, opportunities all the time, wherever yeah, you are? Yeah, it's quite constant. My car broke down last night and I thought, I have quite a funny video. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm like, why am I thinking that? Why you am see? I thinking you see? Thinking? That's a talent. That is a filmmaker. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you, you go. Kate. You go. Bye bye. I have just, you can just see me. I've just come back from Sheer Lux and it's starting to rain. I mean, that's what's happening to our summer. It's starting to rain. But my whole mood has lifted because guess who's here? George. Say hello, hello. Hi, George. Hi, Sandra. Hi, how are you? Very well, George. I haven't seen you since you were at Disneyland. Did you love it? Yeah. I bet you did. And you brought me back a fantastic key ring. Thank you, George. And tell everyone what's on your T-shirt. Um, Marvel characters. Marvel characters. And just see how tall George is every mind you I'm wearing big shoes Sandra yes stand back to back with me George stand back to back now this is this is how tall right shall I take my big shoes off yes okay if I take my big shoes off you will see stand still George stand still George as I do this George you can hold my big shoe see how big these are this is what Joanne needs to wear to appear almost Wow, there. look, okay. hold it, George. Hold, hold that. it. <laughs> He's going, well, I don't need to hold her flaming shoe. They're lovely shoes, Joe. They're really comfortable. I've walked all the way from Oxford Street. Have course. you? Right, now look. Oh, wow, it's nearly as tall. You're, you're a head taller than him. It's tall. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, next time I see you, and Sandra's wearing the most amazing dress. I love this dress. Thank you. Thank you just you. suit dresses so much because you're tall. Thank you. How long are you staying with Nanny? I don't know, maybe for one week. A week? Oh my gosh. Can I bring Myrtle down to see you? Of course. Okay. Yes? Is that okay? Yeah. She's got ever so big. She went to the cinema yesterday to see Barbie. Have you seen Barbie yet? No. Are you going to go? 
Not really a boy's film, no. Your sister. My sister wants to see it. Yeah, your sister enjoy it. I don't think you'll enjoy it, to be honest. Myrtle fell asleep and snored all the way through it. Right. Bye then. Bye then. Bye. 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 That is the sound of Westminster Council's call waiting tune. I'm trying to keep calm, especially as my skin is looking fantastic. Oh my gosh, I am trying to renew my parking permit, my residence parking permit. I've got to get away from this. Sorry about this. This is so, you know, I said coming back to London, I have to maintain a sense of balance. I need to keep the tranquility that I had on retreat in Mallorca. It's very difficult. My parking permit is about to run out, which is devastating. I have left it too late, but I can't make changes online because I don't have a scanner and there is no person to speak to. I sound old, I sound old, Joe, stop. Anyway, I've been waiting for an hour for Westminster to pick up but look at my flowers, says Pollyanna. And look at my dog. And guess what, Myrtle? We've got visitors. Frankie's coming. Yes, Frankie's coming. Frankie is coming. Um, a quick stopover from Mallorca. As you know, she lives on Mallorca. She's making a flying visit. Um, time for coffee and a strawberry and that's it and look at the skin I have literally I have no concealer I have a tiny tiny bit of mascara and I think I've got a bit of lip gloss that's all I have on I'm loving the skin and my neck I know it still looks old but listen look how much better it's getting I'm thrilled thank you Teresa Mind you, I am a paying customer, I need to add. Right. How do I leave this on whilst Frankie's here, just waiting for them to pick up, I wonder? Up on your chair, up, and sit. She's going to come over here. She's been, she can't <laughs> believe her luck because Alice is here. Hi. <laughs> and Alice is a massive animal lover. Oh, and a dog best lover. My new best friend. And this is like... Yeah. Myrtle just can't believe how lucky she is because Alice has been yeah, spoiling her. But you haven't been eating the biscuits. You've Rotten. been very No, good. she hasn't actually. Very good. She so won't she's, she's adorable. Okay, so what she has she's, to realize is she is solid and cuddly and very sweet. And somebody called her Arnold Schwarzenegger in the park <laughs> because she is so big and muscular. <laughs> but she isn't is, she? She's very amiable with it too, isn't she? She's yeah, she's, she is. She's very... Um, I, I haven't really been charmed by a bulldog before, so uh, this is a, a new thing. Yeah, I, I take this it. as a huge compliment. Mm. Now, Alice, your yeah, name on. has popped up throughout this blog, actually. I'll just let everyone... Here I am, everyone. Hi. I am here with a bit of a bald face, but that's for a reason. Um, and I've mentioned Alice Hart Davis throughout this blog because um, I went over to Teresa Tommy to have microneedling. Yes. And before I went, I text you yes. and I said, what do you think of microneedling? Now, everyone needs to know, Alice has been on the vlog before, Alice Hart Davy Davies, if you Google her, she has what we call really the beauty Bible. It's called the Treatments Guide. And um, whatever you want to know about procedures, about it's, a, it's also a directory for all the practitioners. It's constantly updated. I will leave the link below, but she, or should I say, the tweaksment guide is the reference point. Myrtle, calm down. So she's the, my first point of call. If I need to get advice on anything that I'm gonna have done to my face, I go to Alice. So Alice, you said, Yes, depending on said, where you go. I said, yeah, and Teresa's great. She knows what she's doing, so you will be fine. You, it will not do any damage or overdo. She, she will not overdo you because that's uh, something people worry about with microneedling. But microneedling is great. It's a, it's a funny treatment because it's quite old-fashioned in a way, um, and it's very direct and, and quite brutal because it's basically making thousands of tiny, tiny holes in the skin with very sharp needles. 
and why you do that. Um, if you do it with, there's home microneedling and there's clinical microneedling. So we need to, we need to separate those two. But if you use a roller at home, um, you just, you're using that to make holes in the skin, basically, so that the product you're using can sink in more deeply. And you do not need a long roller for that because the skin, or rather the stratum corneum, the horny sort of outer layer on your skin is only 0.02 millimeters thick. You know, it, it, it's tiny. So uh, a roller with like 0.1 millimeters, which is nothing, that will make enough holes in your face for a skin cream to sink in deeper. But you shouldn't do it with any old cream because a lot of like normal high street products or lovely fancy things with essential oils, you know, which are like fragrances. If, you, if you're bombing fragrance deep into the skin, you may well trigger a bit of an irritation or not an allergy unless you're allergic. But, but, you know, but if you're using thoughtful, well-composed, um, effective skincare, the stuff you get from a clinic or a doctor or whatever, Mert's given up on us now, she's gone to, gone Look, to lie down. She looks like a so seal. Home, home microneedling, I would prefer that people who do home microneedling were supervised. Sorry, this is going on a bit, isn't no, it? No, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm because, keeping that in, keeping because, all that in, Alice. Because if you just buy a microneedling thing off Amazon and whack it on and use any stuff, you know, I, I do get dermatologists saying to me, <laughs> Listen to the rumble. The dog, sorry. Um, no, it's lovely. Um, that they see people's skin and it looks like the scratch, the surface of a scratch CD. Oh because, my god! You know, we don't always do very neat, very gentle, very thorough needling, but we kind of go for it in bits, and you can overdo it. But clinical needling, like Joe had, what you're trying to do with that is use much longer needles between one millimeter and three millimeters to get down into the skin to the layer of the skin where. The epidermis meets the dermis. The dermis is where all the growing bit of the skin, the fibroblasts that produce the collagen and whatever, where all that goes on. And if you cause pinpoint bleeding down at that point, then you know you've hit the right bit to stimulate new collagen growth. Alice knows my face very well. We've practiced yoga together, seen each yeah. other at ungodly so what, what hours. What do you see? Was it my neck. Way? It's my neck. Well, so she only did it. here. Yeah. She only did here. Yeah. The neck. For a start, I had very little downtime. I think I've got skin like an elephant. So I did. It was like sunburn the following day. Yeah. Hi everyone. Um, but my neck. Now I've got the neck of a 68-year-old. This is damage from sun and stress. Beautiful and, 68. Oh, on, I don't Joe. know. Dieting. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got definition honestly alice mm -hmm. is still crepey mm -hmm. it's my neck more than my face that i really see a difference okay so she did the neck i mean like you say if it's done properly and consistently you will look red and a bit sunburnt for a day or so and then did you find it goes a bit rough very rough like yeah. when you've used retinol and it's all and, and, and it's all kind of renewing itself but you know over six weeks that um likely traumatized skin will renew itself and then it'll be smoother and stronger so yeah, I'd, I'd probably go back once a month for six months or something. If um, that's what that's what I'm going to do. That's what she suggested. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Can we? Are you? Am I allowed to say what you brought me? Yeah. Go oh, on, this. Go now on. everybody, look at Alice's I should, hair. I should have Just look at magic. her hair. This is hair to <laughs> die for. But it also has benefited from a product because when we we're on retreat, I said. I just so want to have hair like yours, as thick and healthy. So we'll and start with that one. <laughs> she said, start with this. Now, this is from Michael Van Clark. I love the name of it, Alice. Tell yes. us more. It's called the Lifesaver. It's Lifesaver Pre-Wash Treatment. And what you do with this is you put a lot of it, really quite a lot of it, through your hair. It, it says, I think you should saturate the hair. And you should think, wow, that's going to take some doing. But you rub it in, you can put it on the scalp all the way through to the ends, and it really hydrates and strengthens the hair but it's a treatment so you put it on leave it for 45 minutes before you wash your hair or overnight you let it dry a bit tie it up whatever then wash it out and i found i started using this last year and within about a month you know the hairdresser i was seeing then was sort of saying wow you know this is nice what are you using <laughs> i said oh secret product and, and and took him some to show him because it just really you know, and it works for fine hair. I've seen influencers Brilliant. online using using it who've got hair that's completely different to mine, which is why I thought because you were yeah, complaining yeah. about your hair in Being that very video, very fine, did very fine, in and and, do, and also very bleached. Mm. And do you use it every time you wash your hair? Uh, no, I use it about twice or twice a week now. But there's a, there's a companion product which is like a lighter version of this, which is like a styling fluid. Excuse me, opening your product, right? Yeah, I'm giving it to you. Right, I trust but, you. But what I 
because I find um, that the lengths of my hair get, get quite dry. So even, you know, on about day two or three or whatever, if I just wow. pull it through and rake it down, it looks quite civilised and it keeps a bit of hydration in the ends. Um, so it's some... amazing. She's amazing. <laughs> but when we were in the sun, Alice, oh, she lives what she preaches. Mm. She kept her face out of the sun and she kept her hair out of the sun. So that's why it's not all chlorine. Mind you, we weren't in chlorine. It wasn't chlorine, it was so no, cool. It but, was but, you know, the, it's the sun that will strip yeah. all the colour. The, uh, the leave-in version of this has got a UV conditioning agent, but I never use enough of that. You'd need to use that really root to tip to get the UV. Whatever. Isn't she the perfect guest? I could sit and talk to her forever. She came <laughs> on her I'm bike back, exactly. and it's going to rain. So, um, and I'm going to leave a link to this and I'll also leave a link to Alice Hart Davis. You need to check her out. I think you probably all know her anyway, but Thank also you. the treatment guide because if like me, you think, oh, I fancy having this on a, go to that because it literally yeah, yeah, is yeah, the it, point it, of reference. It, it's, the, the whole area is so full of people who shouldn't be doing these procedures. You, you just need to know, um, as much information about anything you're thinking of doing before you go because you have to protect yourself because there is no regulation about who can do this and who can't so just find out the information that website is all there just stuffed with all the stuff I found out over the last 20 years of writing about this so get yourself knowledgeable first and then you'll be in a better position to do these things. What do you say Matt? Bored, she says bored to death of them. <laughs> Oh, look, the door's open. The door's open. This is Mel, everyone. End of the week, Mel. Oh, no, Mel's doing one more show tomorrow. And Dave, the cabbie's got the door open. And he's clean shaven. Look how, look how spelt he looks. It's such a difference. Do you think I've lost my cloud? Because my sister um, e, um, FaceTimed me from um, uh, uh, USA this evening. I, she, she didn't notice any difference. I said, Don't you notice any difference? You know, I suppose a little bit. I think he's lost a I lot in his it's face. It's difficult to say because it's deceiving. Because when I saw your legs about a month ago, oh, yeah. I just remember thinking that was the first time I'd ever seen When did you up. see his legs? No, because he got out. Because I usually see him just legs. sitting there. No, what do you get up to? Private, once you drop private, me off? It's private no. business between me and Mel. I cab once and it just. It, <laughs> Shocked me a little. Yeah, just because with I've me, never I've never seen. Oh no, I've seen your legs. I'm going to get jumped back in stilts or something. Were they bare, your legs? Well, apparently. I just, I don't, I just remember it being unexpected. They could have been bare. I've worn Dave actually years. isn't wearing anything <laughs> below that yeah. shirt. I'm wearing a very, I'm wearing a very short Mary Quant mini skirt. <laughs> Bye, Mel. Bye. Oh, Dave, I've got so much to say. Oh, we are. How are you? Well, uh, Can I have the light off, Dave? Because it's yeah, so unflattering. It's so automatically, once the door closes. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. This uh, this lighting is. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, um, I, I just I can't believe how you, you you've been doing nothing but eating chocolate all night. You're so thin. I don't understand. You're so lucky. You've been eating chocolate all night. Yeah, because I move around a lot. You're sitting in a cab. That's what it is. Is you always. <laughs> You're always like walking really fast, aren't you? You're sort of scared. I was down. swimming at half past six this morning. So I go swimming. I don't sleep. I have to look at look I have to literally look at a bar of chocolate. I turn I turn into happy, happy Jakes. Um people are very concerned. Do you read the comments under this blog? Yes, about... I, yeah, I do, of course, yeah. Well, you could answer a few. If only you subscribed, you could answer. But as you haven't subscribed, you can't. Right, I, probably, I, don't, I, I promise you I will subscribe before next, before next week. I will subscribe. Oh, there you go. That's a promise. Right, so I have a big announcement to make. Um, I have some great news, actually. I am going to be changing my show on BBC Radio London. So, from October, I will be presenting The Late Show on Friday and Saturday nights across the whole country. So, for all England. I mean, that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But, it will be... Scotland and Wales. Scotland and Wales. Yes. Not just England, United Kingdom, you mean? Um, I'm not sure. I think BBC Scotland might be separate. I'm not really no. sure. But for the whole of England, 
So not just London, which is what I've been doing for 20 years, it will be for the whole of England on Friday and Saturday nights from October. So I'm really pleased, I'm extremely excited, and I know that many of you have been asking what's gonna to happen to my job, so that's what it is. And it also means that I have um, time to do lots of other things during the day as well. As you know, I do other work, so I'm really excited. It frees me up to do other work, but it also means that I will be heard across the country. So that is fantastic. The other thing I want to say is Philippe was really chuffed by the amount of birthday greetings that you all sent him and he was so chuffed he's made a little video so we're going to insert it here hey everyone i just want to say thank you so much for your birthday wishes it means a lot to me and i've read every single one even if i didn't reply to them and by the time we're watching this i will be on my way to the airport as i am going on holiday to portugal there we go thank you philippe glad you had a good birthday dave is still on his diet now many of you said Dave, you cannot exist on lettuce leaves, but you do include protein, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, salmon or, um, or or chicken, usually salmon. And I've I've I've, I've increased it this week. I've started um, eating some Greek yogurt with blueberries. Oh, what with the blueberries in it, or you with, buy them separately? Yeah, I buy them separately. I just scatter them over it. Well, Greek I yogurt, think Greek yogurt with the, with like a punt of blueberries. And how much longer are we doing this for? At least until uh, end October. To I mean, coincide with your new show, I shall stop with you. Until you start the new show. I'll, so, I'll, have, I'll, I'll have a big back night of your new uh, show. And listen, <laughs> in all seriousness, when I start the new show, you work Friday and Saturday night, so you'll yeah, still be able to take me back. Of course. Oh, that's all right. Right, we must finish here, everybody. Um, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up because it counts on the algorithm. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Dave promises he will have subscribed by this time next week. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.